Hi. All right, what is going on, guys? So today we're gonna be doing probably the most pain in the ass part of getting this car back on the road. Fucking drivetrain. We got young boy. Hi. Young boy out here today. We got everything laid out. We got the new ACT six putt clutch. It's got. It's got a release bearing, it's got the pilot bearing, the clutch disc and the pressure plate. We got the flywheel, we got the starter. I picked up that little plastic ball thing that goes in the transmission. We got the whole clutch fork set up. The drive shaft, the refurbished drive shaft from uh, Oceanside Driveline. Got all the hardware on the front and we got all the trans bolt hardware and the trans is basically ready to go in. We changed the fluid and all that good stuff so this thing should be freaking mint. We got the shifter all put together but the only thing that sucks ass is I couldn't find the other clip for the DSSR rod. That guy lost it, so we just basically took a bolt and ran it through there. That's gonna hold it for now until I find that other clip, because it's gone. It doesn't look like it's going to hit anything, but who fucking knows. You, my guy. You ready for this? Let's get started. It's way higher on this side, but that's probably because you have the jack underneath it. No, I put the jack sense higher on this side. Why? This, children, is why we do a rock test. No, we're not done jacking up yet, Mary. When you jack up a car and you want to get it up super high, you don't put it up way the fuck up on one side and then you put it way the fuck up on the other because it really, like, fucks up the balance on the other jack. You set one side up, and then you set the other side up higher, and then you set the other side up higher. So it's sort of... Otherwise, you'll like pitch it. And then like the jack sand, like I've, I've done that before where you put the jack stands like all the way up and the jack up the other side. I've seen jack stands go like that with the car on it. Yeah. There's that side. And now the car is level. So awesomely my thousand dollar clutch did not come with new pressure plate to flywheel hardware and since the only hardware that I have is in the sedan because we threw it in the sedan we don't have any hardware to put the pressure plate on. So we fucking ripped the whole kit apart trying to find it and it just doesn't have it. It has flywheel bolts so we can put the flywheel on but we gotta go pick up hardware. I have like four of them from the uh, M52 that we rebuilt. The core motor had a clutch on it but I can't find the other two so I think I'm just gonna run to the dealership tomorrow and pick up some new hardware but this fucking sucks ass. Why? Why do you do this? What do you have to say bro? It's six bolts and they could've thrown it in the kit. How hard would it have been? just to have like six bolts on that. So we're gonna put the flywheel on and then call it a night for tonight and then we're gonna hit it again tomorrow when I get the hardware. But the flywheel looks fucking dope. And I don't even know what the fuck that is. Like what is that? Is that for balancing? This clutch better impress the fuck out of me when it's on the car because so far it's not living up to the dollar amount. Pilot bearing's already on. This flywheel is light as fuck I might add. This thing is so much lighter than the other flywheel. It's insane. Three, two, one. One more. Three, two, one. Another day, another $30 worth of OEM dealership parts that should have fucking came with my $1,000 clutch kit, but we got parts. I picked up six new bolts. I have four of them. I found four of them. I just couldn't find the other two. And so I just thought, fuck it, I'm just gonna run like six new ones instead of just two. They're only like 87 cents each or something. And I got a new OEM pilot bearing. I slept on the thought of the pilot bearing that came with the ACT clutch and I'm just really not comfortable with it being loose like it is, so fuck that. We just bought a brand new OEM one, so we're gonna run this instead. So that's the ACT pilot bearing that's in there, and watch this. I can literally pull it out with my finger. Now if you guys watch this, remove that or install it in the uh, manual swap series, you know it should not come out that easy or go in that easy, so we're not going to run that. Oh, no, that does not come out. So that's how it's supposed to be. Make sure that mating surface is nice and clean. Had my greasy mitts on it yesterday when I was putting the flywheel on. Get our alignment tool going. That's a good looking enchilada. Let's get our alignment tool. Clutch disc on. 
All right, so same deal with the pressure plate. There we go. Just the amount of empty space behind this setup is ridiculous. We're gonna walk it on evenly. Boom, oh, look at that. All squished and ready to roll. So we got a new little shift ball. Boom! I got a bit of multi-purpose grease here. We're gonna throw some like that on the fork. And on the back here where the slave touches. Going like that. Alright. Now we're ready. <clears throat> yes! Fuck yeah! Oh, that makes my life so much better right now. Brother. Oh. Ah! Oh. Now I'm not gonna be running that fucking whack ass setup. My accomplice for the day. And he just showered and put on clean clothes. We're doing probably the worst part of this. Well, it's a good thing because it's all like shit clothes. With those. I started laundry today too, so. Oh. Yeah. We need to torque the, um, the clutch first, which is going to be super easy. You ready for battle? Let's go. So where's like a good, can we grab like in the work Grab here? anywhere except for the mating surface. So anywhere I'd like to grab basically? Yeah. <laughs> fought this transmission to get on for like probably close to two hours. The ACT clutch is a super fucking tight fit on and we cannot get it to just sit close enough to the block to start threading in bolts. We've tried everything. We lifted the engine up higher using the, the engine crane. We've tried to jack it up all this stuff. It is not going on the way it sits right now. So I think we're gonna pull the motor back out, fuck me, and then bolt the trans on that way, and then drop it all in as one unit. So that's looking like the plan right now. But we literally cannot get the transmission on from the bottom. It is fucking too on there. That wasn't too hard, was it, Quinn? That wasn't that bad. The battle oh, yeah. got a lot worse. Because that was the easy part. You know what's funny is the fucking last video I did was putting the motor in. And I was like, that's the last time this thing's ever going to come out. Rip. No, it's not, because here it is out of the car already. The best of memes. Well, at least now you can get a better look at the clutch. Yeah, it's a lot easier to see. This drivetrain install has been a fucking nightmare, Jesus. <laughs> fucking nightmare, dude. This is the gap we're trying to bridge we're right now. We're having to walk this thing in. Just ever so slowly. And they meet, and we're golden. We're almost there. It just needs to give love. Starter replacements are so much easier when you pull the whole fucking drive train out. Tips for, you know, first starting to work on your motor. Planning on doing if your a starter, starter dies, change. you can pull everything, and it becomes a lot easier to replace the starter. 
Like so. Plus one. Fucking fuck pilot bearing. And then no fucking clutch hardware. Now this shit. This is why I don't want to fucking put it on with the trans on the clock. It sucks ass. For those wondering, we just had to take off the kidney grill. It's somewhere in this black mess over here that you can't see. But we got the clearance. I took off as little of the front end as I possibly could. Just such a pain in the ass. But this is the only way that this fucking trans went on, so. So we're gonna readjust the setup now for the like second time we've set the motor down twice on wood blocks underneath the oil pan to sort of support it we have a jack under there so that we can readjust this stuff because we had to get it like super tilted to get it down in and now we got it sort of more level but i want to get it back on this mount back here a tip for you guys that is an engine lift eyelet point right there, and that is a cylinder head bolt. It threads perfectly in there and is a freaking excellent engine support. All right, so it's now nine o'clock. Uh, we started working on this thing at three. I'm not ending the video, I'm just giving you guys an update. Alex had to go home because he has work in the morning and I'm waiting on backup. Merrick's on his way over right now. We're gonna get this thing in. But for those of you guys who were wondering why I did not wanna put the fucking trans on the block and then put it in the car, Obviously you guys have never fucking done it because it's a pain in the fucking ass. So let's just see what had to happen here. Well for one, the uh, the front hole, like the whole front clip is gone. Basically everything except for the headlights and the radiator support. Uh, the shroud is gone, the fan is gone. The uh, AC condenser is dropped down so I have room to work on the jack. The jack is way fucking closer to the car than it was before. And I barely have enough room to freaking operate the controls on this thing. Sitting sideways, I had to remove almost most of the secondary injection system. All of this shit had to move to make room. And it's a fucking nightmare, dude. I wish this trans just went on nicely underneath the car, but it didn't. So this is what it looks like. The engine mount is almost on. It just it needs to go that much more over. And I just don't have the room on this. I barely have the room, if I have it at all. This is the worst part of this build to date. Absolutely. The whole thing like had to come in like at an angle and then slowly sort of go down, flatten it, go down, flatten it, push it back, and all this shit, and it's a freaking nightmare. So this man's... I don't even want to anymore. He jinxed himself and then he touched my penis and that's where we are now. But, so, this side's back on. Again, you can't see it, but it's there. But we finally got that bit in. It took a little bit of extra work because the trans is a bit heavier. Um, and now we're focusing on figuring out how to get this mount on because it's gonna be heavier. Um, and then once we get this mount on, then we're done for the night. Uh, we gotta do the trans cross member real quick. Oh, you bitch ass. You said that we were done <laughs> when we were you fucking piece of shit. That's how we get it mounted up. You, you, you never specified properly, and now I'm a little upset. Well, no, but that's I added okay. the transmissions. There's double the mounting. Okay, well, um. It won't take I got you a sit and spin, sir. I still gotta put the shifter linkage on and all that shit, so I'm gonna leave the, uh, the mounts loose. Oh, yeah. My guy, he I found the thing. I found it, bro. Cool. This is what happens when I work. I miss everything. And I, I kind of want to know. Oh, that is so bright. I'm sorry. I need. I need the light. <laughs> All right, take it up a little bit more. Right there. That's perfect. I honestly didn't think that this thing was actually going to be in all the way tonight. Like, before you guys came over, I was like, dude, I'm just going to fucking set it down on some wood blocks on the subframe. Fucking deal with it tomorrow. It is 10.15 right now. I Quint started working on this thing at 2.30. Just to get yeah, when, when you texted me, huh? Yeah, yeah. I texted you after I started working on this thing. What are you doing? <laughs> Work. Like, 
If the transmission went on like it should have, the front end would be together. We would have the drive shaft, the shifter linkage on, we'd have the exhaust heat shield on. This thing would be fucking ready to be dropped on the ground and just do things from up top. That'd be it. I knew this build was going together too well for something catastrophic not to happen, but luckily we got it fixed in one day. The motor is back in with the trans fully bolted to it. Everything is where it needs to be. Everything is bolted down. We didn't get anything else installed today. We didn't get the slave on, the shifter link is the drive shaft. None of that stuff is on. I'm just happy that the transmission is in and bolted and everything's back where it needs to be. We're gonna be working on this thing again tomorrow and tomorrow's gonna be a new day. I gotta pick up the pieces. It's a lot more apart than it looks because I got the bumper on it. Hopefully that was the only issue with this build aside from the ECU hiccup. We're gonna hit it again tomorrow and hopefully we can make some mad progress. Alright, I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh and I'll see you guys later. We are, we are dreaming in the dark. We are nothing more than dust. Search for